Hello, welcome back to Joel Plays. You guys probably remember the video that absolutely blew up, scared me to death, didn't know what was going on on my channel. I uh, thought it was a, a bot or something. But anyway, uh, thanks to you guys, this uh, video absolutely blew past my margins of expectations. And that video was Twitch streaming directly from the PS4. And now that we have the new generation of consoles, I want to do a video on streaming to Twitch directly from the PS5. It is very similar. There are a few changes and a few quality of life increases uh, that Sony has put into the system. First, I'm gonna roll the intro, then I'm gonna answer some questions that I've been getting about the PS4 video that are, are gonna to apply to this as well. So hang on to your butts. So the capability of streaming straight to Twitch or YouTube from the PS5 uh, has been there since the PS4 days but they've added some quality of life changes, uh, things that made streaming a little bit easier and some audio fixes that have kind of defined uh, what is actually being sent audio wise to Twitch. However, here are the questions that I get asked a whole lot about and I wanna go ahead and get those out of the way. So if you don't watch the whole video, you just wanna watch this part, that's fine. One of those is the webcam. So the PS4 and the PS5 only support the Sony PlayStation cameras. They do not support any other type of USB webcam. Even though the PS5 web camera is USB and not the proprietary connector that the PS4 camera had, uh, the PS5 camera only works on the PS5 and does not work on a PC. I've tested this myself and it's just not recognized. Uh, also, you can't use a Logitech webcam or any other USB webcam on the PS5 as you can on the Xbox. It's a little sad, yes, but now you don't need the PS5 webcam to stream. You can stream without a webcam, but if you want your face on the stream, that's the only way to get your face on the stream straight from the console. The other question is party chat. Now, uh, party chat will be sent over the stream using the PS5 directly to Twitch. However, game chat, such as like your game lobbies, anybody that you're not partied up with will not be sent. That being said, the people in your party have to have checked the box to allow their voice to be broadcast. Because Sony doesn't want to come into a lawsuit where someone didn't know their voice was being recorded or streamed. So it's on your friends and the people in your party to allow their voice to be recorded. Also, the PS5 has introduced what's called cards. So when you push the PlayStation button on your controller now, uh, it comes up with your cards, it usually shows you your stats and your game trophies, things of that nature. While you're streaming to Twitch, there is a streaming card which allows you to configure your stream on the fly, which is pretty awesome. Another big question I get are uh, stream overlays. There are no built-in overlays on the stream from PS5 itself. However, I do have two videos, one about owned.tv and the other about overlay expert. I will link those in the description as well so that you can find those. If you want to put overlays on your PS5 or any other console stream for that matter, PS4, Xbox. Uh, those will be in the description. Again, these are not running on the PS5 themselves. They're running in the web browser on the Twitch channel itself. And again, another caveat for that is they do not work on mobile. So if you're setting these up and you're like, why don't these work on my friends can't see these on their phone app. That's because they need a uh, certain code in the browser to leverage uh, to inject themselves into that uh, Twitch player. So on the mobile app, that's not a possibility right now. And that's up to Twitch to fix. If they do, that's great. If not, just know that if you're viewing it from your phone, you're not gonna see the overlay itself. So without further ado, let's jump into this. We're gonna jump on the PS5. I'm gonna walk you through this and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so now that we are on the PS5, uh, this is probably what most people's dashboard looks like. You have your games at the top, settings, all that stuff. Uh, there's a couple settings we're gonna look at here. So we're going to go on to our settings here. We're going to head down to captures and broadcasts. And under captures, if you look at the shortcuts for the create button, uh, this is personal preference. So uh, for me, if I push the share button once, it's going to take a screenshot. If I hold it, it's going to show my controls. If I push it twice, it's going to save the last five minutes of my video clips, which you can change here. So just keep that in mind. If yours are different than mine, if I tell you to push and hold or push once. Uh, just remember that you've changed doors or not. So under broadcast is where you can set your video quality. Again, this is very dependent on your upload speed for your internet service provider. So I, I can't guarantee you that 1080p 60 frames a second is going to work for everyone. 
However, I have fantastic internet here and I pay a lot for it. So I'm able to hit 1080 at 60 frames a second, no problem. If you're having trouble, 720 at 60, 720 at 30, uh, or even 1080 at 30, if you need to, you still wanna keep the 1080 resolution, but you want so, uh, less frames per second, that can save you on some bandwidth as well. So just keep that in mind. This is where you can change that. You can change in other places later, but this is just the overall settings before we jump into uh, the actual streaming. Uh, if we head into audio here, we're gonna see include voice chat in audio. Now, including voice chat is just for a uh, party audio. Uh, this is also the setting that you use for the video clips. Uh, if you're saving video clips, uh, your past five minutes or 30 seconds or whatever for trophy recordings, uh, you can include the uh, party chat. So uh, the, if you read the, read the description here, uh, broadcast will include audio from players in voice chat who allow their voices to be shared. So this is the setting I was talking about earlier about allowing your party chat to be shared. If you want that, turn that on. If you don't, turn it off. A camera, again, PS5 camera or the PS4 camera with the adapter. If you click here, there are gonna be a lot of settings and there's my PS5 camera right there. It's a little blown out because of the lights, but anyway, so you can display camera or not display camera. You can turn toggle that on and off. The size, large, medium, small. This is the size that's gonna be on the screen. So keep that in mind with the game you're playing if you don't wanna cover up certain overlays. Clipping mask. If you want to add a mask to this, you can. You can do circles, squares, hexagons. You can tell it to auto key. So if you have a green screen behind you, then you can auto key out the green screen or you can set your own chroma key here. I don't have that, so I'm not gonna use that. A circle cutout will look something like this and the hex and all that will look similar as well. Uh, I'm not gonna use one for right now. If you need to flip this horizontally, you can if your camera's backwards. Any effects you wanna add, I think they're pretty bad looking. Uh, comic, pixelate, scan lines, all that stuff. Anyway, brightness, contrast, uh, transparency, you can set all this stuff to your preference if you like to. I can probably make that a little less blown out. Uh, exposure, unfortunately, is not one of these. So that's your camera setup. Overlays. Now, don't let this confuse you. Overlays is pretty much just where the chat is on your screen. One of the quality of life increases with this PS5 is that the chat is no longer a giant bar that is always on the side of your, of your screen taking up real estate. It's actually just little bulk chat bubbles that pop up on the screen and they'll disappear after however long you set it to uh, show for. So if you wanna show the chat, you can toggle this on and off here. If you're watching your chat on something else, such as a phone or a second screen or a tablet, you can turn this off and, dis and monitor your chat there. But if you wanna see it on the screen, you can do it here. Uh, display activity, show when you have new viewers. Again, that's up to you if you wanna turn that on or not. Overlay position, this is where it's gonna be on the screen. So you have your right side of the screen, top, bottom, and center. Left side of the screen, top, bottom, and center. I'm gonna do top right because I like how it pops in on the top right of the screen there. Go back, chat to speech. Now this is another great quality of life increase that I think is actually pretty cool. Uh, if you're immersed in a game and you're not paying attention to your screen or the chat bubbles on your screen, you can actually convert the broadcast chat to speech and it will actually read it out to you. So I'm gonna turn this on uh, for a little bit later. Whenever we demo this, you'll be able to see it. And you can change the volume, speed, and pitch of the person uh, talking to you. So I'll turn it up just a little bit so we can hear it. And for broadcast, that's really all there is in here. The other setting you're going to need to check is that your account is linked to Twitch or YouTube. Uh, this is mainly focused on Twitch, so YouTube, you'll have to kind of figure go through those steps on your own, but it should be very similar. You will also need to enable two-factor authentication on your Twitch account. So if you have a Twitch account, but you do not have two-factor authentication enabled, you will need to go to your uh, Twitch account into your settings and enable two-factor authentication. Set that up so that this will work. Uh, there are some issues sometimes whenever you first link this, if it doesn't work, you may need to uh, reset your stream key. So that means going to Twitch, going to your profile, your settings, and uh, resetting your stream key, then unlinking and relinking your Twitch account on your PlayStation. Also keep in mind, if your account is flagged as under 18, you will not be able to stream as well. Uh, they're trying to keep this uh, 18 and over. So if you have a child account or a sub account, this is not going to work. So to fix that, we're gonna to go to users and accounts, 
link with other services. We're going to link to Twitch. Hit link account. You're going to scan this with your phone and then it should pop up with a uh, window to link this account. So I'm going to go ahead and scan this with my phone. You can't see this. All right. So I've put the code in. I'm going to hit activate. It's going to activate my device and then this screen should allow me to uh, link my account. All right. You're linked to your uh, Twitch account. So I'm using my test account for this because I don't stream straight from my console on a normal basis. So I'm just going to use this for the uh, chill place test account. I'm going to hit done. So when I go back here, it should say Twitch is linked. So make sure it uh, does say linked here before you continue on. So now that we're at the home screen here again, I'm going to head into sack boy since it's already running and there is my sack ninja. I'm going to press and hold the share button. And over here in the right, you will see broadcast. Now, if I'm not in a game, it's going to tell me I have to be in a game. So unfortunately, Sony did not fix the issue where if you are not in a game or you're in a game that does not allow streaming, it will not let you broadcast or it will show the uh, blue screen with the camera and the line through it, meaning that you can't stream either the menu or that part of the game. Uh, some games and developers block cinematics from being streamed this way. Uh, the way around that, of course, is to use a capture card and a PC. Uh, and a PC. So that issue is still there, uh, unfortunately. Uh, if you can't find broadcast here, you can also uh, hold the home button down. Down here in the bottom, you will see broadcast also. So if we're back into the game, press and hold share. I'm going to go over to broadcast. And it's linked to my Twitch account. If it does ask you to choose which one, uh, YouTube or Twitch, choose the correct one that you're streaming to. I can change the title here. Uh, I'm going to call this uh, testing too, just so I know that this is a separate stream. I can go over here to the three dots and I can uh, broadcast options or change the service. If I change the service, I can change the YouTube. I can go to broadcast options and this is a quick rundown of the options that we went through at the beginning. So I can include the camera, display the chat, uh, viewer activity, overlay positions. So all this stuff is here. Uh, it's very handy to have it here without going all the way back to the settings menu. So from here, I can click go live. And you'll see this screen here with my camera. And before it actually goes live, it's going to allow me to change the position of my camera. So just using the D pad on my PlayStation controller uh, here, I can change where the camera is going to be. Uh, so I'm going to put this over in the bottom left. I'm going to hit X to confirm that. And now I'm live on uh, Twitch. You'll see that there's one person watching here. So those are the activities that you'll see uh, that'll disappear in a little bit. It just lets me know that I was, I'm watching my own stream on the uh, computer itself. So if I want to do a chat real fast, I can say, I can type a message to myself. Show place says hello. Now, the other great thing about this are the cards. So if I push the uh, home button on my PlayStation controller, along with my other cards, I now have a broadcast card. It'll show me that I'm on air, how long I've been streaming, how many viewers, the game that it's set to. So if I click on this, it's going to bring up a preview of my camera. I can choose to mute the microphone. Again, the microphone you use is going to be plugged into either your controller or the PlayStation itself. I can also turn off the camera or move the camera. I can also toggle off the chat activity and the position of it. So I could change this to a uh, center, right? If I wanted to, I can also pause the broadcast. So if I pause the broadcast, it's going to show a blue screen with the camera with the line through it, letting people know that it's paused. I can also stop the broadcast here or I can just back out and I'm still live. So as far as that goes, uh, the streaming part of this is actually done. I can go back to the card. I can stop the broadcast. Are you sure you want to stop it? Yes. Broadcast ended. Shows me how many people watched it. It also lets me know that the broadcast has stopped as well. I'm going to jump onto the PC that I'm viewing this on so we can uh, hear some of the audio and the, uh, the chat readouts as well. All right, so here we are on the Chill Plays uh, test page, uh, streaming again from straight from the PS5. Uh, you'll notice that again that we have uh, viewers watching. Uh, that's again me in, in the chat. And if I wanted to send a message here, if you listen closely, it'll read us back to us. Uh, 
Hey, big guy. Give it a second. Hey, big guy. And there it is on the screen. So people in the chat can also see it. Uh, you can see this on your screen if you're monitoring it and your chat is on. Um, also, it reads it out to you, which is fantastic. And your camera is down there looking crisp as always. So anyway, that's all there is to it. Uh, we're live on Chill Plays Test, streaming straight from the PS5. So as you can see, streaming straight from your PS5 to Twitch or YouTube, whichever you prefer, is as simple as doing it from the PS4. Uh, hopefully the quality of life increases are something that help people out. Hopefully the audio definitions that they've put into their settings are a little bit cleaner and make things easier for you to understand. And again, if you can find a PS5 webcam, uh, you do need that, of course, if you want a webcam or the PS4 camera works on the PS5 with the adapter. If you can find the adapter, uh, stuff these days is, is outrageous to find. So you do need the, a PS4 or a PS5, a Sony camera to work on the PS5 stream. That's hard to say. Uh, no other webcams will work. Just keep that in mind. I'm sure we still get questions about it. That's fine. Uh, again, overlay expert, own.tv, the uh, console overlays will be down in the description if you want to watch those videos and add overlays to your stream. Other than that, good luck. Let me know if you have questions. Remember to have fun when you're streaming because that's what it's all about. At the end of the day, you're getting to play video games for people and and chat with people that you probably would have never met uh, just playing by yourself. So have fun. Thank you all for hanging out. I love you all. Peace.